welcome to the first episode of ancient anecdotes powered by listen cup this is your host ramanathan ayer this is lalita ramanathan what are we talking about today pa do you want to know about the varaha avatara oh what is it what's the varaha avatara so many millennia before during the satya yuga 5000 years ago give or take 100 more fourth millennium bc yes according to the aranya kanda in the valmiki ramayana the great jatayu says that kashyapa prajapati was the last of the prajapatis or sons of brahma oh oh i know this one kardama pratamastesham vikritas sadanantarah sheshasch samshayaschaiva bahu putrasch viryavan स्थानुर्मरीचिर अत्रश्च प्रतुश्चैव महाबलः पुलस्तिश्चांगिरश्चैव प्रचेता पुलहस्तताः दक्षो अपरो अरिष्टनेमिश्च राघव काश्यपश्च महातेजा तेषाम असीच पश्चिमः क्वाइट अ लॉट ऑफ प्रजापतीज देयर गुड जॉब व्हेन कश्यपा वाज स्टिल इन हिज यूथ ही कंडक्टेड अ ग्रेट यज्ञ एंड नीडेड अ काउ फॉर द मिल्क कर्ड्स बटर एंड गी एंड सो ऑन सो ही बोरोड द सेलेस्टियल काउ फ्रॉम वरुणा इट इज सेड दैट ही बिकेम ग्रीडी एंड डिडंट वांट टू रिटर्न द काउ आफ्टर द यज्ञ वाज ओवर एज प्रॉमिस्ड नाउ व्हाट विल यू डू इफ योर फ्रेंड एताश और नीलकंठ बोरोस योर टॉयज एंड डस नॉट रिटर्न इट आई विल टेल हिज मदर she will punish him exactly varuna went and complained to brahma brahma said the cow is varuna's dear possession like a daughter to him you have separated them may you be born as a cow herd and your sons won't live with you kashyapa first asks for an opportunity to repent for his mistake brahma is his father he loves him too so he agrees okay you can take some time to meditate but once said is said you will be born a cowherd in the dwapara yuga kashyapa realizes his mistake receives the punishment with folded hands hey what happened what are you thinking about dear did kashyapa really meditate for 7000 swarga loka years pa satya yuga and treta yuga put together i'm not even able to close my eyes for 20 minutes well yes and no This is indeed an interesting question. Actually, my granddad used to tell me Kashyapa meditated next to Brahma for 19 odd minutes only and 27 chaturyugas had already passed in the world by then and it was time for his incarnation in the Dwapara Yuga. That is why even today 20 minutes is suggested as the right time frame to meditate. But we will talk about this time frame puzzle later, okay? Anyhow, Kashyapa's wives Aditi and Diti are also said to have incarnated with him. Now, there are characters in the Bhagavata whose sons did not live with them. Can you name them? Vasudeva and Devaki. Correct. Kashyapa, Aditi and Diti were reincarnated as Vasudeva, Devaki and Rohini. If you start eating a mango, what remains? The seed. Yes, that's right. And it will grow into another mango tree. so more people can eat that mango whatever we do will affect the world it is very important to know this okay back during the satya yuga kashyapa meditated in the satya loka to understand the ultimate truth at the end of his meditation mahavishnu appears before him and says o oh kashyapa your meditation has borne fruit you will now be counted among the seven immortal rishis you have realized your true nature but the seeds of your action will affect the world because you are one of the sons of brahma this act of greed will affect the world greatly brahma is born out of my navel so i am also responsible for your act but don't you worry i will incarnate to handle this so what kashyapa overcame was received by diti and thus were born hiranyaksha and hiranyakashyapa so that's how kashyapa was able to sublimate his mind is it is that why mahavishnu gave kashyapa darshan that means mahavishnu made sure he acted according to what he said in the 6th chapter of bhagavad gita isn't it 
ಭಜತೆ ಯೋ ಮಾಂ ಸಮೇಯುಕ್ತ ತಮೋ ಮತ ಊ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ಕಾರ್ನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಹಾವಿಷ್ಣು ಪ್ರಾಮಿಸಸ್ ಟು ಕಶ್ಯಪ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ವರಾಹವತಾರ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದ ವರಾಹವತಾರ ಪ ಟೆಲ್ ನೋ ವೋ 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 ವೇಟ್ ಒನ್ ಕ್ವೆಶ್ಚನ್ ಅಟ್ ಅ ಟೈಮ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ತ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತಾ ಕೋಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಬ್ರಿಲಿಯಂಟ್ when the mind is innocent with faith it is stilled and this is indeed the highest yoga and secondly to recap hiranyaksha was born to diti and kashyapa prajapati hiranyaksha wanted power to rule the worlds and wanted never to be defeated by becoming immortal and being able to rule all the three worlds was his single purpose with which he did severe penance to brahma instead invulnerability from man or beast or gods was all he got as a boon what is invulnerability pa immunity basically he conquered the three worlds and submerged mother earth under the ocean mahavishnu defeats hiranyaksha by assuming the varaha avatara and rescues earth the very exception to hiranyaksha's boon was the varaha avatara part man and part poor and what why is your hand up again How come the earth got submerged in the water pa where did so much water come from there is a loka with different kinds of liquids called as the rasatala this loka is a realm where people who are blinded by greed malice avarice or anger usually resonate with what is a resonate it is a state of mind my dear that we have at times have you noticed we often oppress or do harm only to people whom we know won't strike back or are weaker or who show patience towards our shortcomings once we do this we feel ha i am so powerful then we become greedy for this power that is when we have descended into rasatala the word hiranyaksha itself means one who is blinded by greed greed makes us ill treat even those who show utmost patience like mother earth right now where do hogs pigs and boars find their food they find their food amidst the slush pa right suppose we drop a golden ring in the slush to pick it up we forget the slush and remember the value of the ring isn't it our mind is our world and one such precious thing that we need to save at all costs when one shows greed our mind descends into rasatala a dirty place and a bore has to bring your mind out of the slush i remember when my granddad used to explain it this way when we think of my benefit alone then our mind becomes busy with so many thoughts that tire us eventually but when we start including the benefit of all around me then the mind is stilled for the welfare of the world bhava yasya wait Isn't this word and rasatala from chapter 3 in Bhagavatam pa? Yes, absolutely. What an amazing catch. You are right. Dvitiyantu bhavayasya rasatala gatamahim uttarishyan upadatta yaknesha saukaram vapuhu. Uddharishyan, bringing the earth out of the water. This was the core symbolism the story teaches. So, to overcome greed we meditate like kashyapa yes to still our mind we must the boar symbolizes determination to overcome greed requires effort from our end have you also noticed how the varaha picks the earth out he uses the snout or the nose part to lift the earth not the strong hands that were used to defeat hiranyaksha so for handling the mind you have to be determined and use your breath not the strength of the body and this stills the mind and allows us to meditate isn't this an unorthodox way of indian storytelling satya yuga is the fourth millennium bc isn't it the bronze age had just started in bhuloka yes much later in the 5th century bc hellenic grecians like plato 
and Eratosthenes had first discovered Earth to be a spheroid and had used a unit called stadion to approximate the Earth's circumference. But did you also know that the idols in the Indian temples built millennia before show the Varaha Avatara carrying a spherical Earth out of the water? Eons had already passed in India with the knowledge of accurate astronomical calculations before Hans Lippershey, Jacob Metius and the renowned Galileo Galilei were one-upping each other in 1608-09 over a patent for the first telescope. So, why us? Why specifically listen cup stories? This is our little for the world. Our bhava is here. Yes, it will help to bring all our minds out of the rasatala. We realized this value in the system of unorthodox storytelling only recently. Although I have had the fun of experiencing it firsthand right from the days of my grandparents. I see now the system is either absent or dwindling these days as less of us have paid attention to these stories. I don't think even our own parents have listened enough. Here is where Listen Cub fits in. We are going to present some interesting stories of yore that are unbelievably thought-provoking and relevant even today. Much like a 600mm f4 EF mount L lens for millennia old far away stories having creamy bouquet. My granddad had a special way of presenting this knowledge very skillfully. Like, say without any damage to either the poor Eratosthenes or for that matter Galileo or Aryabhatta. And he did so by linking all this to something that was happening with us right then. He had a new story for every situation. And he never ran out. We would drop our tantrums in awe every time he spoke. It was pure magic and you will soon see why. Can I go out to play now and meditate tomorrow please? You know, postponing meditation will get you in trouble. Someone as devout as Sundaramurthy Nayanar himself had his marriage cancelled because he postponed doing something good. What? His marriage got cancelled? How? Wait, where are you going? Who is Sundarmurti Nayanar? And why did he postpone his marriage, Appa? Hear it first on Ancient Anecdotes on your favourite podcast streaming providers. Tune in every week for a brand new episode.